Today we are making a video on Endless OS. Here is the Endless OS operating system or a Linux distro and here is the logo. Every Linux distro should take like a minute or a maximum of a minute or a minimum of 30 to 40 seconds for the uh, load up of a desktop but Endless OS uh, takes a lot of time and I'm running it on a virtual machine which is a VMware with a 40 GB of hard disk and 4 GB of RAM with two processors running and this is the Endless OS uh, 5.0.2 or I'm going to uh, mention the version in the title it is taking uh, so much time and this is the basic edition not the uh, full uh, uh, edition which is uh, the file size is around like a 16 GB or something like that which is multilingual I guess and here is the desktop layout as you can see it's a basic edition so there will be a few apps that's it let's wait for the desktop to load up and here is the first thing you need to choose is uh, choose your language which is uh, English United States you can choose any language or you can search here uh, for any language let's type in Russian and the Russian is available uh, you can type any language if you uh, of your own here or you can scroll it down like this there are plenty of languages available so choose anything you want and click on next try endless OS by running it from the USB stick reformat this computer with endless OS this is a single boot and this is like a live boot let's try it in a live boot choose your keyboard layout I'm choosing English United States you can choose anything you want so click on next and here is the terms of use so if you want to read anything you can read it and accept it and the privacy location service uh, I, I always recommend that you always turn off uh, camera microphone and the location service only turn it on when it is use, uh, used or uh, while you use you while you're using so that's a privacy tip there and start using endless OS so in a few seconds it should be loading with all the apps uh, available in the basic version so we need to wait for a few seconds it almost took like uh, 30 seconds I thought it should take like a minute uh, as usual because the previous version I used but it loaded up pretty much fast and welcome to endless OS 5 I'm using the 5 version which is a 0.2 something like that uh, I will be going to be uh, saying what version is uh, I'm using right now let's check out the settings and uh, the distro info there it's going to take a few seconds endless os uh, multilingual or the main uh, linux distro is never the lightweight linux distro it's a heavyweight because uh, heavyweight and uh, big size uh, uh, in the iso file and the version of the endless os uh, right now i'm using is uh, 5.0.2 which i uh, said in the beginning of the video and here is the some of the info if you want to read it gnome version is a uh, 41.3 windows system is a uh, wayland and i'm using a hard disk of 42 gb which is a uh, 40 gb 4 gb of ram and i'm running it on a vmware so it's going to mention it as a vmware hardware model so let's close this thing and open the system monitor if it's available I think there is no no system monitor it's available in here in the utilities first we need to check the system monitor because the resources are consumed uh, should be known at the beginning of the video uh, without opening any apps so you will have an idea of the resources how much resources the endless OS consumes I'm going to uh, open the system monitor again at the end of the video so you will have an idea of uh, uh, resources consumed from the starting and the ending so remember this uh, resources or the remember the memory consumption and the CPU 
and uh, uh, tally with the uh, ending of the video uh, resources and you will be having a video of uh, resources consumed there i think you get my point and the memory is uh, at the beginning is 1.3 gb it is still the beginning i didn't open any apps so it's already 1.3 gb and the cpu is almost like a uh, having here and there some high peaks as you can see in the graph but the uh, stable is uh, around like a uh, 20% under 20% or a 15% you can call it uh, i want to run it uh, till like a uh, 1 minute it's almost 31.8% it's almost like a 32% of a uh, memory cpu is as you can see here just remember this thing and uh, compare it to the end of the video and you will be having of uh, resources consumed after opening few apps let's check the about system monitor which is a 41.0 which is the old version not the latest version but uh, it's okay let's open the terminal and type in few commands for the distro info uh, which is inxi-sv8 and hit enter command not found is it neo fetch available in the endless os even neo fetch is not available let's type in uname dot dash a and uname dash r for the kernel version 5.15 is the oldest version of a linux kernel latest version is like a something 6.2 like that let's type in hash stop if it's available as you can see here is our hash stop even in hash stop you can see the memory is 1.12 gb of a 3.8 gb and the tasks are 17 107 and here are some info if you want you can read it let's uh, open the about of the terminal which is uh, version 3.42.2 for gnome 41 let's close this thing and let me take you to their uh, official website and show you how to download the distro from their website uh, the default browser for the endless os is a uh, chromium Uh, almost every linux distro has the linux uh, of linux distros always had the firefox browser as a default browser and a few apps have few linux distros has uh, chromium and few have uh, falcon as a default browser and here is our browser let's uh, check the about chromium which should be triple one and this is the latest one which is a triple uh not triple uh, one it's 112 so let's open the tab and type in endless os in the search bar endless os and click on enter here is the website or you can type it directly like uh, endlessos.com the first link is the website and this is the url if you want to type it in directly you can type it in and here are some info of the endless os if you want you can read it no problem go to the free downloads i uh, install by side by side with windows like a dual boot or try it on your computer choose your option as you wish it's always better to boot it in a lime mode first and then go with the installation don't blindly go with the directly installation because we don't know we have we had bugs in the iso file uh so i don't want you to ruin your pc so it's always better to go with uh, uh live mode first then go with the installation after you are satisfied then go with the installation and don't forget to use it for that linux distro in a live mode for like a uh, for hours like 78 hours maximum then you will be after you feel satisfied then go with the installation and here are the downloads available as you can see for the desktop computer 60 64 bit I think the ISO file is only available in the 64 bit 32 bit isn't available so no problem let's choose the our architecture and the hardware we have I'm using a desktop computer I'm going to choose the desktop computer you can choose the english 17 gb which is a big size big ISO file size or basic one like I choose I do I didn't have the time uh, to download the 17 gb of size Uh, because i post two videos daily it's uh, hard for me uh, in my previous video i already uh, made a video of uh, english 17 gb file size of uh, version endless os 5 uh, 
uh, this is 5.02 so the version uh, the version 5.0 i already made a full uh, size full iso uh, like this version this edition which is uh, english 17 gb i already made it if you want you can watch that out uh, right now uh, for this video i'm just choosing the basic 3.3 gb multilingual or a multi language and uh, click on download the file which should trigger the torrent or a https file uh, here is the torrent file uh, you need to download it with the uh, torrent client i downloaded it with the uh, uh, download manager uh, because i downloaded it from the uh, distro watch so this is the website and the download option so let's close this thing and uh, this is the installer which says uh, reformat so load, let's open few apps and check the version of the endless os uh, apps which is file manager about files which is 41.2 because the gnome version is uh, 41 so almost every app should be with uh, named as the uh, named or the version should be like a uh, 41 and there will be point something like a three or four like that i think you have an idea of what i'm saying so let's open LibreOffice and check the version. This is a basic version, so there should be nothing much available of the software. So LibreOffice is almost opened, I guess. Here is our LibreOffice. I don't know what taking. Here is our LibreOffice. Let's check the version of the LibreOffice. 7.5.2.2 LibreOffice is almost the latest version that's weird but because the GNOME version is the older version but the uh, apps are the latest version that's kind of weird let's open the software store or app center you can call it you can even uh, click here for the application and here here for the activities like switching the uh, workspace you can call it and the version of the app center is a uh, 43.3 which is almost latest version the latest version of uh, gnome is 44.3 uh, or 2 something like that and the apps installed will be like this right ticked and here are all the apps pre-installed uh, which comes pre-installed i don't want to open the apps and show you the version we can show you I can show you right from here by just uh, scrolling down the calculator version is 44.0 none of the people want to know the version of the calculator but I showed somehow and the cheese version is a 43.0 I already showed the uh, chromium web browser uh, contacts version is a 44.0 I'm showing this for the people who want to know the version which is available in that uh, OS of endless os 5.0.2 uh, so i'm just showing for them and the g edit or g edit uh, version is uh, 44.2 hack version is uh, 1.10.2 colibri version is 2.2.1 i already showed the library office short will version is a uh, 0.30. 18 sidetrack is uh, version 1.1 videos version is 43.0 uh, disk usage analyzer is a uh, 41.0 a uh, document scanner is 44.0 i don't know some of the apps having uh, like a uh, uh, latest versions like a uh, gnome version 44 but few apps have the oldest version no problem these are a few apps uh, which is available in the endless os uh, 5.0.2 i think that's it for the video because there's nothing in this uh, endless or a basic this is a basic version so there's nothing much available so i'm going to show you my channel uh, because uh, for some viewers who want to uh, don't want to subscribe and watch my content this part is only for you people who already subscribed no need to worry about this you can skip this you need to just type in youtube.com forward slash 9 to 5 linux uh, in your search bar whether it's your mobile device or a, a tab 
or a TV, you just need to type it in like this youtube.com forward slash 9 to 5 Linux in the uh, web browser or a so you can call it just a search bar. If you're using a YouTube app, just type it in 9 to 5 Linux in the YouTube app in any of your device. So clicking on enter will take directly to my channel. I'm using a VPN so it should take like a few seconds. Here is our channel. About that I already mentioned that I'll post two videos daily without missing any day. And here is the timings. You need to visit at this timings. The videos will be available before the timings because I am going to put it them in a premiere mode. And this is the community. Uh, I will be giving a news or a info of uh, the latest distribution or the latest packages available. So you can uh, keep an eye on it or keep an eye on that. And if you are here only for the Linux content, just go to playlist and uh, you can see Linux here. Click on view full playlist under the Linux. And you should be having like a 1550 videos. I made a various or a different types of Linux distros of 1550 videos. I covered like a 70 to 80% of Linux distros uh, which are available in this world. I covered every type of the Linux distro. So you can play all or shuffle or you can either directly touch, uh, type in your favorite uh, Linux distro or a favorite system like uh, MX Linux here as I'm typing. Click on enter and you will be having enough uh, for having the latest videos I am going to post it uh, even its uh, alpha version, development version, beta version, whatever it is uh, as soon as the ISO files are released from their uh, uh, distributions or the developers of the distributions I am going to post it here so you don't need to be worried or you don't need to be wait uh, you don't have to be waiting uh, I am going to post the latest news so that's it for the video uh, let's open the system monitor and check the resources uh, because we opened uh, a few apps so the RAM management is pretty good because uh, the 100 MB of uh, RAM is consumed I didn't open much of the apps because uh, there are not uh, much of apps available in the basic version uh, I think that uh, uh, the English version with the 17 GB of file size should be having a lot of apps because the file size is a, a lot and the apps will be also available I'm, almost every app will be available in the uh, English version so if you want to watch that uh, 17 GB of uh, English edition uh, you can comment it down below I'm going to make a video on it if you want only if you want uh, you mentioned the, in the comment down and I'm going to make that in the uh, next video if you want only if you want I'll make it or else uh, I'm going to skip it so here is the resources consumed uh, I think that's it for the video again thanks for watching I hope you enjoyed this video if you did hit the thumbs up button it helps make a good content for you other than that I'll see you in tomorrow's video peace out let's shut it down power off